Hello everybody, I'm Brother Nero. It's been a while. Anyway, the king is back. Let's carry on, shall we? Now, in recent years, and currently at the moment, and probably for the end of time, one of the most popular forms and most profitable forms of online content is that which appeals to insecure, um, sexually repellent, angry young men. People like uh, Andrew Tate, Fresh and Fit, Sneeko, Stephen Crowder, and literally hundreds, thousands of other people have made, combined hundreds of millions, maybe even more, created virtually a cottage industry out of appealing to this particular demographic. And whilst I hate and despise literally everything these type of content creators stand for, represent and produce, um, I can to you know, a great extent understand exactly why they do it, especially once you realise how easy it is to manipulate these frustrated, angry, fuckless losers out of all of their money. I mean, literally, all you have to do is stand in front of some expensive cars, get some pictures taken of you with some hot young women, rent a private jet for an hour, go sit in that, and just, in general, behave like the most obnoxious, arrogant, misogynistic, sexist, sociopathic, uncaring prick in the world, whilst promising that you can teach other people who want to learn exactly how to be just like you, and this fucking horde, this tsunami of fucking absolute douchebags will be throwing their measly paychecks at you. And any time people start making a lot of money doing anything online, it is inevitable that millions of even more shameless scam artists and fraudsters will jump on the bandwagon, come out the woodwork in order to make some bank. Best example in recent times would be the uh, cryptocurrency shitcoin uh, phenomenon. Now, the best thing about all of these uh, quick cash grab scams um, is that they are designed to appeal to the absolute dumbest and the most gullible fucking ring nuts of your particular target demographic. Because of this, they end up producing the most unintentionally fucking hilarious advertising campaigns that you have, well, in this case, never seen before, but will after today. And in this video, I want to show you what I think might be the best worst ever marketing fraud video that I have ever seen in the pantheon of fucking absolute scammy fucking you know, advertising campaigns. This is the troll two of the genre. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Alpha X10 Ultra. Now, quick Disclaimer to set you up as to how I discovered this. A bit of targeted campaign, not sure what it says about me, but I was just perusing YouTube a little while ago and I got this bizarre advert claiming that it could help men, you know, overcome the embarrassment of erectile dysfunction and many other things. But what made me curious about it um, was definitely not because I have any of those problems there, definitely not. It was because the video just showed a guy pouring some milk into a half full bottle of coca-cola and i thought well that they surely can't be claiming they're going to claim they're going to cure erectile dysfunction with milk and coca-cola so i clicked on it and it led me to a website called alpha x10 nd ultra which is a supplement and it you know leads you to a video page and i'm going to you know now play and uh, respond and react to as best I can, how I did at the time when I first watched it. And I'm even going to link it below, just so you can see that I'm not fucking making this up. This wasn't me. I didn't make this myself. This is legitimate. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this was Alpha X10 ND Ultra advertising campaign. Hit it. See you later, darling. Wait. Bye. You forgot your phone. What the hell? Whoa, I was not ready for such a huge penis in my mouth. As I watched Lynn perform oral sex on that stranger, looking at his huge penis with hunger and excitement in her eyes, I decided I had finally had enough with my tiny little member. I was devastated. So we start off with a guy whose just wife is going out. He says, oh, wait up, Lynn. These are sex people. And then he picks up her phone and it just so happens to be playing a video of her blowing some guy who is, you know, really bad at filming because he's only getting the back of her ass. And then he sits there and his reaction to seeing his wife blowing another man on video is to go, I'm sick of my tiny penis. This guy needs some fucking self-assertion therapy. It was now or never for me. 
as this became the beginning of an extremely dangerous yet very rewarding journey, one where I saw firsthand the untold side of the adult pharma drugs industry and their deadly side effects. Now, despite what he said there, he's not going to show you the side effects of the adult pharma industry. Um, he's going to tell you stuff that you could probably already know, you know, simply by just looking it up. Um, but you might be wondering, what kind of side effects could he possibly be talking about? My penis and testicles almost got cut off in the process. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that is a pretty... That's a pretty big... I wouldn't call that a side effect. That's an effect, really, isn't it? Yet, after 10 excruciating months, I did it. I not only saved my manhood, but also managed to find a simple, natural, and 100% efficient way to increase its length and girth by 82%. Okay, take a shot every time they say the words length and girth, as well as many other phrases you're going to hear a lot going through this. Uh, yeah, by 100% efficient. Well, I don't know how you would measure that, but by 82%. They like this word 82. I don't know why. that. I think they went for it because it's, it's not an exact number. Um, but also, I don't personally know how, you know, your relationship with your penis may be different to mine, but I don't think I would have sat there and measured the length, breadth and depth of the damn thing to the point where I could sit there with a calculator and work out exactly the percentage of increase, you know, but hey, I'm a bit more of a, you know, I'm a bit more of a traditionalist in that. It's something that broke the medical community in half. It, it didn't break it in half, although, you know, it did break your wife in half, you know, um, but then, haven't we all? Especially given the fact that I did it with no expensive gadgets, no crazy pumps, no pharma drugs, zero surgery, and without doing a single stretching exercise. Mm hmm. Yep. None of that. Yep. yep. This is going to be very no nothing. No tricks here. No fucking hidden fucking weird bit. Nothing. N none at all whatsoever. This is going to be a very simple, straightforward procedure. They were wrong about all of this. Despite what the medical conglomerates, together with their shady medical writers, have been posting on their so-called mainstream websites. Okay, look, I like to think that I, more than most people, keep up with a lot of the news, be it mainstream or alternative, independent, whatever. And I've got to be honest, I, 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 I you know, I'm not, I can't remember the last time I was on any uh, major, you know, uh, mainstream uh, news site and they were sat there t trying to explain, be, just bombarding me with propaganda, explaining to me why I, uh, you have a small uh, penis. I don't like again. Maybe I've missed it. You know, maybe I'm on the wrong. Uh, maybe I'm on the wrong, or maybe the right website. Apart from Alex Jones, I can imagine him saying some shit like this. But you know, so but hey, you know those big. Oh God, that big corporate media and their small penis propaganda. The real reason why you haven't been able to achieve that rock hard, stunning increase of your penis before. Uh, yeah, that's not me. I didn't edit this image. This is the image in the video. It's a guy standing there with a, a, a picture of a giraffe over the top of his pants. I don't know why they couldn't show it. Maybe there's a legal issue there. Although I'm pretty sure whatever they show under there, you know, whatever does happen to you when you take this stuff is is, is it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be that, you know. But if you do like that image, don't worry, it comes up a few more times and it gets progressively a little bit more ridiculous as it goes on. But yeah, so yeah, you will have a giraffe's head sticking out the bottom of your pants. Has nothing to do with genetics, nor does it have anything to do with some chronic disease like they so falsely claim. Don't know who they are. They falsely claim chronic disease. I mean, it's if it's not genetic or a disease, I don't know what the fuck else it could be. But um, it's not what here. Yeah, it's not what they would have you go. It's not. That's the official government story. It's a lie, and I now have ten lawyers to back me up. Yeah, he doesn't have. T he doesn't have a s ten scientists, or you know, a, or a ten doctors, or even you know, he has ten lawyers. Kind of a little bit concerning that he's basically sitting there saying, "I've got fucking lawyers, so don't piss me piss me off here." Okay, it's kind of like he's sort of preempting that you might maybe want to sue him but he's got 10 lawyers to back him up and as we know lawyers not gonna you know they're experts on having small cocks in fact as you'll soon see your erratic testosterone levels or your painful prostate problems are just a side effect of something much worse happening inside your reproductive system right now now you're gonna have to i'm gonna have to apologize folks because there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this video a lot of um advanced medical jargon that you know that laymen like us are not going to understand because obviously we're all you know you're not familiar with terms like erratic testosterone 
um, and various other re- issues and, uh, you know, and you know, overflowing into your prostate and such. And the reason you're not familiar with them is because literally no one would ever fucking say them because there's not really... Ir- your erratic testosterone. Oh, thank, yeah, thank you. Something that not only prevents you from increasing your penis in length and girth and achieving savage erections, but is actually shrinking your manhood with every second that goes by. Okay, now, I don't know what... I've never heard the term savage erection either. Um, I don't know if they're a you know, spin-off band from Savage Garden, but I, I also, you know, the, it, it's actually not only is it just not letting your penis grow, it's actually shrinking it. As we speak, your penis is getting smaller by the da- by the second, is what he said. By the second. So your pe- penis now could be smaller than it was at the start of this video. It might be gone by the time of this fucking video. A dangerous process that has been happening since your childhood and which starts deep inside your bloodstream, spills over your prostate, and then passes through the urinary tract inside your penile tissue. Yes, it starts deep inside. Yeah, that's one of the few... It's the only thing in this fucking world that this geezer has ever been deep inside is the uh, disease in his bloodstream. Um, spills over your prostate and into your urinary tract. Just... Can you please dumb it down a little bit for me, please? Pro- Where it wreaks havoc on your member's ability to grow longer and bigger. Breaking research now shows that those born after 1950 are the ones more likely to be affected by this condition. Now, breaking research. Now, they um, they don't bother burdening you with the um, sort of source for this research where you can find it or whatever. But they say this research that they are citing that is definitely real. Uh, it shows that anyone born after 1950 is going to be afflicted with this. Now, that's kind of a little bit convenient, isn't it? Because 1950 was, it's now 2023, the end of 2023, so it's that's almost 74 years ago. And that's near as makes no difference the average length of the, of, of, you know, that's almost the average lifespan of a man in, in America or in Britain, maybe, in, maybe even in Europe. Um, so what they're basically saying is the, the, you know, the, it's affecting people, you know, aged between you know, 74 and under. And the majority, you know, the vast majority of people who are older than that are going to be fucking dead. And I don't know many fucking 74 plus year olds who have got fucking, who have sat there too concerned about whether or not they can get a savage erection. They're, you know, quite frankly, they're happy enough if they can just go for a piss, you know, without having to strain themselves, quite frankly. So this, this study is a little bit, I think, you know, it's not maybe, you know, it's a little bit easy to fucking, you know, hey, again, I'm just not, it's not, I've done no research. Which has left over 48 million desperate men with a much smaller than normal penis, dysfunctional erections, and prone to life-threatening prostate disease. Okay, they say 48 million men. Now, they don't specify whether they mean 48 million around the world or 48 million in just America um, they did show a picture of the world, but that doesn't mean anything. These are just fucking images. But also, they use the term dysfunctional erections. It's not a dysfunctional erection. Right? Your, your erection isn't dysfunctioning. The erectile process, it's, you, you've got erectile dysfunction. It's the erection ability to have an erection. That, um, you know, maybe I'm expecting too much here. But, like, yeah, so there's that, you know. But... I don't know 48 million of what. If it's in America, that's like like a third of the men in America right now. If it's around the world, fuck knows. And now we will finally know why. But worry not, because in the next five and a half minutes, I'm going to show you the exact mechanism behind this insidious penis shrinkage process. Now, important point there. He says in the next five and a half minutes... Right now, that's interesting because this video, this advert, this ad campaign video, this entire pitch is 36 minutes long. So it's more. Now, I don't think I tried really hard, but I'm pretty sure I have not been able to write a funnier, more unintentionally funnier, ironic joke for this video than the fact that this is a video. Pit, you know, written, created by and for men who are, who have very small penises and he has over fucking compensated the length of the video by six times more than what he fucking thought it was. And what you must do immediately to stop it. Finally, I'm going to give you the key that not only unlocks explosive penis growth, both in length and girth. 
Take another shot, length and girth. Also, ex he's going to use this word a lot, and I think it's a bad word. He's going to say explosive penis. I think when you're talking about someone's penis, you, sh you, know, you know, something that's going to affect the penis, try and avoid words like explosive. It kind of it conjures up a bad, it's bad optics. You know, it's just, it's not the sort of imagery you want to put in people's heads. Um, it also protects you from prostate disease, urinary infections, cleanses and rejuvenates your entire reproductive system, surges your stamina and energy levels, and helps you achieve long, powerful, massive orgasms while increasing your sperm production and fertility by 440%. 440% sperm production. Now again, I haven't measured mine. I don't know whether it's the actual quantity of sperm that you normally produce, or it's the actual sperm themselves are four and a half times. They just come out flopping around like koi carp on the fucking floor, like with a fucking beard and a fucking a pipe holding a stein of mead, right? Singing rugby songs. I don't know, right? But again, these are, you know, these are things that most normal people probably don't fucking work out. All that while adding 50%. 60% and even up to a rock solid 82% increase on your beloved member's length and girth. Another shot for length and girth. Also, 50, 60 and up to 82. You just say 82. Just say up to 82. Up to 82 includes. See, but of course, you're going to find out that 82, It's I don't know why they've picked that number because they have testimonials coming up which completely and utterly you know blow that one if you want of a better term out of the fucking water more than 100,000 men all over america and the world have used this program and experienced mind-blowing results yes according to them over 100,000 i think on the on, on another page of the website it says made like 100 and you know 13,000 or whatever and it's kind of funny isn't it that this thing that does all of these wonderful things you know, you know that makes you you know gives you this fucking huge fucking Pringle tube sized cock and makes you like it makes your dick erupt like a fucking magnum of champagne like the hundred thousand geezers have done it and not one of them has fucking like you know let it slip you know you'd think they I'm just you'd think someone would have hey let's let's be open Jake G 37 years old from Philadelphia Pennsylvania says I used to be at 3.8 inches and now oh boy now I'm at eight inches after a couple of weeks. It's insane. Everyone needs to know about it now. Thank you for sharing this. Hmm, 3.8 to eight inches in a couple of weeks. Yes, thank you, Jake. Jake G. That's 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 you know an increase of well that's an increase of more than a hundred percent. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm let's hear another one. Andrew M. 46 from Bakersfield, California says, I went from three and a half inches to 7.7 inches after a short time. Now I am at eight and a half inches and it's still growing. How is this possible? And not just that, my erections are five times stronger and harder. Chris, this is life changing. Thank you, sir. Right, so this geezer went from three and a half to eight and a half, and he said it's still growing. I don't know how he knows. Can he literally see it happening as he's typing this? Going to, to, can he feel his pants fucking stretching? And he said, and he's also, it's the it's the exactness of the my erections are five times stronger and harder. How are you measuring this? Do you have a fucking, you know, are you, are you, what is it? Is it like dark matter now? Are you ripping hubcaps off fucking, off your, off your hummer with this fucking thing? And now, now Chris is the geezer who's fucking allegedly talking now, the AI bot who's talking. But uh, so yeah, that one's, that was an interesting one. Matt B, 40, from Plano, Texas says, I finally have something thrilling inside my pants. Nine inches. Yes. Can you believe it? Nine inches. I'm still speechless. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, Matt didn't give us his original penis size, so we can't run any data on that. That is fucking useless, quite frankly. But he's got something thrilling inside his pants, nine inches, and he's speechless, even though he quite clearly isn't. Now, um, the interesting thing about this is uh, this isn't the only one. On the website, they have other um, they have other ones, um, you know, testimonials from different people. Interestingly, enough, interesting on the website, they have what basically those exact same. Uh, reviews, but they've, the geezers have all got different names, like Jack Dillinger and various other ones. But my favourite one is uh, on the website, which is this one. Um, this was the best decision I ever made. It was three and a half inches when I started, and gradually increased to four inches, then five point two, then six point eight. I'm standing here right now, eight point three inches, and still growing. That is from a guy in Petersburg, Florida, called Patricia. It's Patricia Campbell. There, um, you know, up, hey, not gonna, not gonna judge. Fair play, good, good for you, sir. Hi, I'm Chris Howard, and you should know something about me. There are a lot of things I'd like to know about you, Chris, but I know one thing that you're about to say, and folks, brace yourself, because you're not going to believe the fucking bombshell he's about to drop. I'm not a doctor. 
No fucking way! Ah! Didn't graduate from an Ivy League school. Again, not much of a surprise. I'd be amazed if you fucking could pass a urine test. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. No, no, no silver spoon in your mouth. No. Tiny dick in your pants. I'm just a regular guy who once had a dream. Oh, Chris, so you have a dream. What is your dream, Chris? Tell me about your dream. Tell me about the way you, what you see in the future, your bright, gleaming, shining light, the beacon on the hill. Tell me about your dream, Chris. That one morning, he'll wake up to a bigger penis. Hmm. Okay. Would be funny if Martin Luther King had dropped that one, what, that one but you know, yeah, um, that's, a, that's a dream to have, isn't it? To wake up in the morning and go, oh! damn it. A harsh reality that broke my marriage apart and turned me into a walking wreck. I found out my wife was having the time of her life with a man that wasn't me, recording their encounters and saving them in her phone's memory like trophies. A reminder of what a worthy and big penis looks and feels like. I don't really think, I doubt your wife needed a reminder of what a uh, bigger penis looks like, certainly, because, you know, just because she might have only ever seen, even if she has only ever seen yours, doesn't mean that she only, you know, we live in, the, the internet exists, you know, if every woman you've ever been with has only got an A cup, doesn't mean you don't know what big tits look like, does it? You know? Although I do like the fact that she was so uncouth that she just left her phone there, like, open at the video. Just It's almost like she wanted you to find it, Chris. But, hey, could have been a mistake, you know? Could have been an accident, you know? Maybe she didn't meet you. Maybe she's with you because, you know, you're a nice guy, but, you know, maybe you're just not, you know, you haven't got all of it there. And she didn't want to She didn't want to end it with you, you know, because she still loves you and she's conflicted, but she still needs, you know, she needs a fucking clunge service, you know what I mean? When I confronted her, do you know what she said to me? You know what, Chris, I don't. What did your wife say to you when you confronted her about it? Well, what did you expect, Chris? To spend the rest of my life pretending I enjoy your tiny little penis? I've had enough. I have needs, too. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? But, um, no offence, Chris, but, uh, your wife's a cunt. I felt like a chore she eventually got rid of. I hired a lawyer divorced my cheating wife, and made a promise to myself that I would do everything in my power to fix this problem that has been plaguing me for so long. And I started to go and look into fucking children. That's what I wanted to do because they're smaller. It would help. The ratios are there. It's easier to fuck it. It's easy to do these days. You've just got, apparently got to get on TikTok and do some funny dances. I mean, I could just be, you could be the next Paul Breach for all I know, Chris. And then your lawyer explains to you, going, no, you can't do that because that is slightly illegal. Right. So instead, you did something else. What did you do, Chris? I've got to tell you, this quest wasn't easy at all. First thing I did was an in-depth research for any existing solutions and penis enlargement practices out there. In-depth, I don't want to make the obvious, they're going to be, that'll happen a lot. You'll you get to the point, you'll see them coming, but yes, the only depth you're being in. There was this cream that promised at least one inch growth in the first five days. Seriously, I ditched it in less than three weeks. It was nothing more than a sham. You're kidding. A cream that could make your dick grow by an inch in five fucking days? What, what do you mean? Like, it was a sham. Is this where you started getting ideas, Chris, of how you could make some fucking money? It was, a, it was a five days. It was a sham. Right? What happened after that? Instead, all I gained was a terrible skin irritation that lasted for another month and a half. A month and a half? You put some cream on your penis that gave you a rash for a month and a half. What was this cream? Was it infected fucking horse, Meg? What was it? A month and a half. Did you apply it with sandpaper? Then I tried all the other basic stuff that I could find online. Stretching exercises. <laughs> That's basically grabbing your dick and pulling it, you know. Jogging. Jelking, for those who don't know, is basically, it's a stretching exercise where you grab your dick and you pull it. More stretching exercises. Again, grabbing his dick and... and, and Indian growth practices. Uh, Indian growth practices, these tend to revolve around uh, grabbing your dick and stretching it. Yeah. Even some weird African rituals. And the only weird African rituals I could find was uh, involved this process where you would get uh, your dick and you'd, you'd stretch it. So yeah, a lot of that. But as you can imagine, everything turned out to be nothing more than a big waste of time and money. Okay, waste of time, I get that. But money, like, 
What do you mean money? How much money was it costing you to just stand there and and stretch your own stretch your own dick out? What were you doing with it? Like, were you trying different methods? Were you attaching weights to it and pulling it? Did you get someone else to do it for you? What? How does it? What? Who were you paying? Now I knew deep inside that the only way for growing my penis, as the medical community says, was through surgical intervention. And although I didn't really like this option, to say the least, I knew I had to take the hard road. Deep and hard road, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, interesting, um, even people in the medical profession, if you look into it, will tell you not to get surgery, because surgery doesn't work. Long and the short of this, folks, by the end of this, um, you know, for those who don't know, for those who are curious, for those who ever wonder, um, because I had to look into this, for the purpose of this video, um, yeah, none of these fucking things work. Right, your, your dick, your dick is what it is. There, you know, there is there is only one surgical procedure that could actually, you know, that technically does sort of work, but none of them actually fucking, you know, none none of them work. No, no surgery work. No, no doctor will recommend that you actually get your um get your dick fucking thing because they just it it always goes wrong. It's bad. It doesn't work. It might increase the size of it flaccid, but you know, as far as the size goes of it, that it doesn't it doesn't. I looked up opinions and reviews from men who had undergone penis augmentation procedures and stumbled upon horror stories that made my blood run cold. You looked for reviews, right? So is it like a Yelp for pe so, you know, for, for penis, penis? You didn't think of going to a doctor, maybe, and asking him. That might have been, you know, no, you're just going to go on the internet and look up penis enlargement review. Not only was the price for this life-threatening procedure five thousand dollars or more. Just FYI, it's not a life-threatening procedure. It's a, it's a penis-threatening procedure, but it's not a life-threatening procedure. I don't know how much it cost. It is very expensive, apparently, but um, it would be, wouldn't it? You know, um, at least you go see. You know, but that's it. Yeah. So yeah, it's not. But it's not life-threatening. But there was a story in the forum thread where a guy, regardless of the bad reviews he read before, was so desperate that he went for it. What what forum are you on exactly? Are you on like you know? Is this like you know? Penis, penis enlargement surgery, you know, chat.com. What, what, what website is this where these geezers go and fucking humiliate themselves with these fucking horror stories? Exactly. And, you know, was it, were you on the fucking small dick problem subreddit? Because, you, you know, because that would have been a great play. If you haven't been on there, that's a real thing. Go and go check it out. It's really funny. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, so yeah, there was a, a horror story. Okay, fantastic. He said that the whole thing lasted a couple of hours and felt every single needle pierce him again and again. Wait, so this geezer went to a to have a penis enlargement operation. He went to this place, he just laid down and was there for hours, and they were just st sticking needles in his dick, and he could feel it for hours. And at no point did he ask, uh, did he say, ow? Um, could I have an anaesthetic? Do you think they just do this like fucking? Did this geezer he fucking do it? Did the geezer, Did the doctor happen to be a German cannibal? Right? What do you mean? What kind of moron is this guy? So when he got home and unzipped his pants to get a second look at the results, he admired his noticeably larger and thicker penis. Yeah, that that's what tends to happen when you've been like stabbed. Or you know, or you know, you've been injured. Is that your body parts tend to swell? It's not. It's not enlarged. It's not fucking surgical enlargement. It's just his fucking dick's fucking swollen and infected. I would imagine so. But that was only for a couple of days, because after that, his penis started getting purple, and said the smell reminded him of how he found a dead raccoon in his trash. It was like his penis died and was ready to fall off. Purple dick, purple dick. Its dick went purple. And it smelt like a dead raccoon in the trash. Just instantly. Because I don't know about you, that doesn't say... I think there's a, there would have to be a point... So it didn't... Do, it wasn't purple and smelt like a dead raccoon. And then there was a point when it was a few days later. There must have been some fucking, like, gradual progression. And at no point did he sit there and think, Hmm, that smells a bit like warm Stilton. I'll best get that checked out. Oh, look, that's going a little bit of a fucking light moth. I'll fucking go and have that look. No, he waited till it was basically... It was fucking mist coming off of it and fucking mushrooms and fucking it's it this guy's a moron he needs to get his fucking brain enlarged after he woke up from five weeks in a coma whoa whoa stop what what you can't just wait he was in a coma for five weeks what happened what he just passed out did he just drop it you can't just fucking say he just woke you can't just say your dick smells like a dead raccoon in a fucking wheelie bin 
and it's bright purple. And then next, you wake up in a, after five weeks. What? Ha, what? His penis didn't even get hard anymore. And I could only feel his pain when he wrote this message. So he warned us not to be that careless. I would hope that you wouldn't need anybody to point out that this was a bad idea. You know, that you shouldn't be that that careless. Maybe. I'm just fucking throwing out, you know, this is this to me sounds like something you should know simply by fucking being alive. That was it for me. I didn't want to risk getting a penis surgery. So there was one last thing on my research list to try. Penis pumps. Oh. Not just one, but two different types, automated and manual, just to make sure I covered all the bases. Because Chris is nothing else if but a man of science. Now, as they advertise it, these devices increase blood flow causing swelling and making the penis look larger, feel firmer and longer. And of course, why would the advertising mislead you? But I don't think that's how they work. It's more like when you, you know, when you put like a fucking mush, uh, a marshmallow in a fucking vacuum, and it's like, like this. it's kind of like that, you know, it's, uh, yeah, aesthetically, it's, uh, it's, it's an improvement, but it, uh, it's deflate. It's like one of those balloons that's hanging in the corner of a party. You know, it, it, it just sure. I was somehow satisfied the first time I used it but only to notice that my new size didn't last more than a half an hour. Okay, how long do you need it to last? Exactly, is half hour not enough, you know? Um, can, you, can you not be, be more efficient? But as desperate as I was, I used it again and again, and not just for five minutes, which is the recommended time, but 15 minutes straight. 15, 15 minutes straight, and then he did it for 15 minutes gay. Now I have to admit that this was extremely stupid, as it caused my manhood to get all red and swollen, and not in a good way at all. When he says, what does he mean when he says, not in a good, red and swollen and not in a good way? Could somebody explain to me a good way in which case your penis would be red and swollen? Unless you're a fucking Alsatian, there's no good way your penis should be red and swollen. You see, the pump sucked a lot of blood inside the upper part of my penis and kept it there for these entire 15 minutes. So when I finished, the penis was supposed to return to its initial size soon after, but that blood was stuck in my penis's head. Stuck in your penis's head. So at no point, so you've got all this blood in the in the tip of your dick, and at no point did you notice this or feel this and think, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should let you know give this a bit of a you know, hey, it stayed there, so it, it's longer than the half hour you wanted. You know? It looked like a water balloon ready to explode. Can you imagine, like, doing, the, like, can you imagine pumping it to the point where you're, it looks like a water balloon about to explode, and you just kept going, like, you just thought, fuck it, you know, what's the worst that's get absolute fucking mentalist. The pain was killing me. I could barely walk, while a large, sharp pain struck my penis. You, a large, sharp pain struck your penis. Did, did, did it pop? What do you mean? It's a sharp pain struck your pe penis, right? Right now, he does this thing again that he did earlier with the fucking geezer who had the raccoon, the, the dead raccoon dick, purple dead raccoon dick, right? Because he goes from struck, you know, from I couldn't walk and a pain struck my penis to this. Next thing I know, I woke up on a hospital bed with the doctors talking loudly outside my room. Now, stop right there. A sharp pain, so the next thing you woke up in a hospital. Okay, so the, this begs the question, who rang the fucking hospital? Who called the doctor? I'm hoping, presumably, you had the fucking good decency to do this in the privacy of your own home, right? Not just in the local library or down the fucking, you know, B&Ms or whatever. But would you, did you not, like, who called, who, who fat did you, were you found? I, you haven't got, you can't live with anybody. You don't have a, don't have a wife anymore. Did your roommate come home and find you? With this big fucking, big, big blood filled fucking cop flubber. You know, what, how did you get there? You need, to, you can't just fucking sit there and not tell that. that that's fucking, that, that, this is vital information. The blood had been stuck there for too long. We have to cut at least half of it and remove the testicles. We do it now or he won't make it through the day. I don't know about you, I'd be a bit... I, I would rather they would not discuss that in the hallway very loudly so everyone could hear. I would rather they talked about that in, you know, 
in 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 pro not just outside my room in on the and what are the odds you wake up at that moment and pass out again right obviously not very but apparently this guy is the most is you know this, the the level of fucking it's almost like this is fucking made up apparently as i later found out the pump shrunk the veins on my penis and blocked the blood from flowing from there the blood couldn't travel anywhere nearby not even in my testicles well how the fuck did it get there in the first place what, so it's just there, right? your veins, what, what are you talking about, right? I don't want, I, you know, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a doctor, certainly not a penis doctor, but you know what, I, that, that, that sounds like A, bollocks, and B, well, I don't need a B. They were going to castrate me and cut my penis in half, and I wouldn't even have been awake to know it. You wouldn't have been, why would you want to be? What do you want him to do? Wait, you say, hey mate, check this out. You're not gonna, you're gonna want to see a pair of fucking garden shears. What do you mean you wouldn't have been awake to see it? Would you? Would you rather not? You know, isn't it just like something you don't need to fucking witness? Like that's not a Kodak moment. Luckily, I'm still alive today. Uh, spoilers, much, mate? And somehow I managed to keep both my penis and my balls. But for a moment, it could have been ruined. You can't just go and say that. That's like, the, this is the equivalent of in fucking, that, that fucking Star Wars movie where they said somehow Emperor Palpatine is back and is alive. What do you mean? You can't just say somehow. How? What did they do? They loosen your veins up? They fucking stick a fucking, they stick a vacuum up your ass? What the fuck happened? It was now my 24th day of medical care, and I honestly thought I was going to die alone and no one to love me. Ah, oh, kind of feel bad for him there. It's really sad, you know. It's not really that funny anymore. Just me and my sad, tiny penis. <laughs> I like it. It's not just tiny. <laughs> it's fucking sad now. It's fucking got it. <laughs> but sometimes things do happen for a reason. Things happen for a reason. Yes, because, you know, you were born with a small cog and you nearly fucking, you know, you nearly made it blow up. You filled it with blood and it nearly exploded. That's the reason it happened. Because next to my bed, there was a note from the doctor that saved my testicles and my manhood. Dr. Gifford. There was a note mm, from the doctor who saved your, you know, just a note saying, you know, yeah, doesn't sound, sounds a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking, uh, bent and dodgy. Mm. The note said, I can help you with your problem. Meet me once you feel better. And below that was his phone number. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely bent, definitely a little bit fucking, you know, you know, and you just thought, oh, you know, this is fine, Dr. Gifford, or is it Gifford, right? Now, I didn't know Dr. Gifford all that well, hardly at all. Well, you know enough about him, that you, I mean, you've got his phone number, and he is the man who saved your penis and testicles from being removed. I don't know about you, but that's enough for him to be my best friend for life. So I did a little bit of research before calling him. What research did you need to do? He's the doctor at the hospital. Couldn't you have just, like, isn't that enough? What, what, what were you looking for? He was actually an extremely famous and highly praised surgeon. Well, well there's a problem with that sentence, isn't it? In a, you know, extremely famous. Like, if, if someone's, if you have to look someone up, right? If you've never heard of someone before, then they're not exactly extremely famous, are they? Right? They're what you would call not famous. Who specializes in the most complicated and difficult penile surgeries and reconstructions and performed penis surgeries on A-list actors and world-famous singers. Right. Um, anyone want to take any bets? Because obviously he's not going to tell us. Um, I don't know about I don't know about you. How would you know this? Right? Why would this be? How did you research this? Presumably you Googled his name and then this fucking I Googled the name Dr. Gifford. And let me tell you, bugger all came up. Right. Nothing. Right. Not a sodding bloody thing. Right. So I didn't find this motherfucker. Right. I certainly didn't find anyone involved. In, but I did find out that a guy that, you know, the first one when I looked up a. Uh, when I looked up uh, pe uh, uh, penis uh, doctors, or whatever, do you know what came up? A guy called Dr. Gary Horn, right? Now, that's a fucking geezer. That is nominative determinism right there, folks. But yeah, he works on actors and, and, and singers. Okay. And yet, this was a profession you wouldn't see on TV or magazine covers. This wasn't a professional, you see, what, as opposed to all those other penis fucking enlargement doctors who were just all over OK and Hello magazine who were just on the front cover of the fucking t Radio Times. What do you mean? Oh, 
How many doctors do you see fucking... And it makes sense, since he only worked for extremely famous people that he had to keep their identity fully concealed. Yes, it's so concealed that apparently somehow it's he's famous for doing this. Right. Are you fucking... And now he's, he's coming after you, Chris Howard. Right. The geezer who's famous for what? Right. Fucking nearly fucking blowing his dick up. I was in awe. We agreed to meet at his private lab. So this geezer's got a private surgery, a private lab where he, you know, presumably, you know, experiments on fucking, you know, does rad does penis. What do you mean a private lab? Right. This is not are you telling me not in, the, in the, you weren't in the least bit fucking wary of this geezer. Right. He's left you his phone number like he's the fucking milk tray man on his pillow. Like he's the fucking like he's the fucking dick fairy and he's left you his phone number to call him to help you with your problem said meet me in my private laboratory you're a fucking lunatic and let me tell you the things he said back then even though now i know they're 100 percent backed by real science it's still shocking this may come as a surprise to those of you watching but when he says that even though these things are 100 percent backed by real science what he actually means is not that. During my career, I've met thousands of men like you, Chris. Yeah, of course you have. Right? That's your job, mate. You're, 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 the, you're the small dick guy, right? It's not a fucking... It's not a men in their mid-twenties and early thirties with penises from four, three, even one inch. And they all hated themselves for that. Damn right, as they should. They couldn't understand why they were sentenced to live like this. But truly, it wasn't their fault. To be fair, I don't think anyone's ever blamed them for it. It's not like they were fucking, you know, in a previous life they were being punished or something. It's a, you know, and does anyone think it's their fault? And if you do, it probably is. You see, when it comes to the male penis. Oh, when it comes to the male penis. So obviously, if you're a trans woman who hasn't yet had gender reassignment surgery, then this doesn't apply to you. So, you know, there's some good news. Most doctors and, honestly, the entire medical community insists that all this is caused by genetics, corrupted DNA, or just bad luck. Okay, first of all, you know, the entire medical, really, the entire medical community talk about this? What, even like, what, opticians talk about this, right? This is the opinion of the entire, even vets, like, does everyone talk about this like that, you know? Everybody, right? Even, uh, you know, I mean, and also you say it's, 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 it's genetics, Corrupted DNA, which I think is the same thing as genetics, or just plain bad luck. Well, I mean, bad luck, it is still bad luck, whether it is, you know, whatever is the cause of it. But also, like, I, I don't think a doctor would diagnose you with that. It's like, I'm afraid, sir, you've got fucking, you've got micro penis syndrome. Why is that? Oh, shit happens, my friend. These people are supposedly professionals, yet they don't even act like it, because none of them are looking in the right direction. Do you know what sounds really professional? When you leave a note with your number on and meet a guy whose penis and testicles you just saved after he tried to fuck it, after you filled them with blood with a fucking bike, with a pneumatic bicycle pump, and then you meet him in your private lab and sit there and tell him that everybody else is wrong and you figured this shit out because you fucking did an enlargement, a penis enlargement on fucking Nigel Farage once. Now, because he's made it specifically clear that it's not their fault, you might be sitting there thinking, well, someone's got to got to blame, surely. And we're about to find out who is actually to blame. Right. So place your bets, folks. We're about to find out now. Actually, the problem starts even earlier than your teenage years. You see, in order for babies to receive the nutrients and minerals that are necessary for their gradual and healthy growth, while protecting them from complications and outside dangers, they receive antibodies from their mother's milk while breastfeeding. Ding, 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 ding. There it is, folks. Who had somehow the men having small penises was somehow the fucking woman's fault. It's de it's somehow the fault of a woman, obviously. Right. It's not their fault. It's not bad luck. It's not anything. It's because of their fa it's because of women. Right. Obviously, if you had that well done, give yourself a goldfish and subscribe. This is how all babies gain immunity from a host of diseases. But this immunity is not theirs. This is when I realized it was the mother's immunity that we had to look into. What? So you find these guys who have got small dicks and then you fucking, like, uh, presumably they don't know till they're older, right? And now you, and then you fucking 
test something on it, test their mothers when they're already full grown. You can't test. What do you mean you look into their mother? You look into their mothers. That sounds a little bit, little bit far fetched. But don't worry, he has got, you know, he's got some uh, some some sources and evidence to back that up, kind of. According to a study conducted by UC Berkeley, UC San Francisco, and Biomonitoring California, pregnant women are exposed to so many toxic chemicals that eventually affect their babies. Oh, according to those studies, you know, all of those studies by those places, right? Which, you know, are, are, you know, exposed to so many chemicals. Where? How? Why? What? What? What, what do you mean exposed to chemicals? What? Right? You got anything else other than that? A study by Berkeley and fucking whatever. You might as well have said fuck. You might as well have said a study by Beastman at Castle Grayskull. According to Zippy George and Bungle, this is what they said. And this study from Michigan University showed that in the last 50 years, these chemicals reduced testosterone levels and provoked decreased semen quality in men starting from genital tissue in newborn boys. Only in the last 50 years. And earlier he said it was since the 1950s. So are you suggesting that prior to, like, are you saying that, you know, prior to the, like the last 50, 75 years, men didn't have small dicks? And if they did, what was called, everybody was hung like a fucking baboon, back, you know, back then, from the end of the war backwards, right? Everyone fucking just flopping around like there, like a midget in a dick suit. Now, since the babies have already inherited a flawed immunity and are exposed to so many chemicals from such an early age, it's only reasonable that their low levels of testosterone will inactivate the penile tissue and block the growing process. I don't know about you folks, but the words, it's only reasonable, are doing a lot of fucking heavy lifting there. And even if your testosterone is in abundance, you're still not safe. On the contrary. Oh yeah, see, you know, just to get all of you in here, you might be saying, oh yeah, I have got, I have got very weak, fucking shitty, fucking sperm comes in like, you know, like a tiny little fucking, like a tear in a fucking dormouse's eye. No, I, and you're sat there thinking, no, I fucking, bl I blow fucking shitloads of it. It's like a, it's like an erupting fucking magnum of champagne. No, apparently you're even, you're in even more trouble, right? Before you think of turning this off. This testosterone is a hormone contaminated by thousands of chemicals that are incredibly harmful for your penis. You see, Chris, your body uses testosterone in different ways for different purposes. Does it really, doctor? Well, please do elaborate. I would like to know more. To create semen, develop your body, and grow your other masculine... Other last masculine traits, you know, huge beard, big milky bald, massive brain, you know, no emotion, logic and reason, you know, all of these things, the ability to open jars, reaching for shell, reading a fucking, pissing on a bonfire, all of your masculine traits, you know, sawing wood in half, you know, bleeding a radiator, your masculine, your fucking masculine, man, man, those masculine traits, all of it comes from the testosterone. Now, semen is nutritive. It's basically a bunch of nutrients, minerals, and compounds in a liquid. Really, it's n nutrients, minerals, and compounds in a liquid. Right? It sounds like you're describing Buxton mineral. So that's why your body has no problem in producing it with the contaminated testosterone. Your body still recognizes it for this specific purpose. I have a question. Why does the fucking like contaminated testosterone only affect the development of the penis if it does everything? Like, why does it not bugger up the rest of your bloody body? Like, why don't why doesn't everything else go? Why haven't you got like one massive tit and a fuck you know? Why does that happen? Right? Where, where's why haven't you got like fucking snake hips and a where, where, why does everything else fucking seem to work? But it's just the fucking penis, right? That seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? But when it comes to growing tissue, especially penile tissue, things change quickly. Oh, there you go. Things change. Of course they do. Right. You know, and obviously you're definitely going to explain why that is, aren't you? The same testosterone your body uses to create your semen is not suitable as a fertilizer for your penis. Right. No, you didn't miss it, that, folks. He, used, he, he said fertilizer. Right. Yes. That well-known medical term, your testosterone is a fertilizer for your like it's a fucking compost. The reason here is that the cells use it as a fuel to build tissue. And when the most important resource in doing it is compromised, the entire process shuts down until it reaches the required purity. Now, I'd like to make it be known that I did not pass any of my high school uh, end of year exams, my GCSEs. I have no idea what my results were. I never picked them up. I was rubbish at everything. But even I know this is horseshit, right? 
And I want you to know that this is still the doctor talking. It is Chris, recant, re, you know, re, you know, recanting and re, re, you know, re, repeating back the fucking, you know, what the doctor said to him. I want you to know. I, I want to ask you: At what point in the, would you still be listening to this? At what point in this conversation would you sit there and go, hmm, hmm, not, not too sure about this? And here's another question, right? Only, am I, am I being a little bit unfair when I sit there and say only a man would fucking be even likely to fall for this? Can you imagine a woman sitting here for this long? This video's now been going for 12 minutes, right? There's another 24, there's another 20 fucking minutes left of this. Can you imagine a woman still standing here listening to this fucking horseshit? I stood there in shock listening to Dr. Gifford, and for the first time, I finally understood why I was condemned with an embarrassingly small penis that wrecked my entire life. You finally understood, did you? Yeah, your, your mother was a toxic whore, apparently, who passed on all of these chemicals to you, apparently, because that's what women do. You know? And apparently, somehow, this doesn't have any negative effects on, on uh, female babies, you know, on, on girls, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't you know, affect them in any way whatsoever. I... So is there any way to fix all this? I asked Dr. Gifford. Wouldn't it be funny if you just said, nah. Even though things went this way, that doesn't mean it's irreversible. You can actually turn on the switch of the penis growth process. Turn on the switch of the penis growth process. Mm -hmm. Let me guess where that was. Hey, Dr. Gifford, was that, is that up my ass, is it? Mm -hmm. Are you going to turn it on with what? With what? Hmm? Your, your big purple wand of magic? Hmm? You see, Chris, the human body is capable of amazing things. It never stops sending growth signals to underdeveloped areas, such as your penis. Oh, right, mate, you don't have to keep mentioning my underdeveloped penis. Okay? We know. We're all here. We're all friends, right? Everybody's fucking... We all understand. Just stop, you know, just stop laboring the point, okay? I get it. It can regrow penis tissue any time in a man's life, no matter the age. All you need to do is trigger the production of clean testosterone, which would in turn restart the growing process of your penis. Of course, that's all I've got to do is, is, is just you know, start the production of clean testosterone, which would re-trigger the growing, obviously. Now, when you put it like that, it all fucking makes... We, we all remember this lesson in fucking school, probably. I don't know. I didn't go, you know, so I can't even... And in order to help your brain assimilate these growth signals and stimulate testosterone levels, your body must flush out the contaminated testosterone that blocked your normal growth in the first place. Right, so apparently I've got to have a testosterone fucking enema, right? And just get rid of all the bad testosterone and put in a load of news, just like a refuel, uh, just like an oil change. That's all I've got to do. It's that simple, right? It's so, it's almost too simple, isn't it? Now, since your body cannot produce sufficient clean testosterone and can't get rid of chemicals, there are only two ways to do that. First one, the long and dangerous way. I like the sound of that, my friend. Long and dangerous are my middle names. It's nice, James. You could follow counterfeit testosterone replacement therapies. These are extremely dangerous and life-threatening treatments, which after almost 30 years in the medical field, I can absolutely say that I do not recommend. Curious use of the term there, counterfeit testosterone replacement. What, so that people are selling fake, test, dodgy testosterone? Like, bent testosterone, like fake, like counterfeit testosterone, right? Like fake, like fake money or fake, pe like, it's, it's like, f what is it? How would you even f counterfeit that? How do you tell? And in 30 years in the middle, I wouldn't recommend it. Right? Just you, though. Just you. No, no, it's like, okay. And there's the other big disadvantage. These particular injections do not treat the root cause of low and bad testosterone. This means that its production will never increase. Well, we can't be having that. The production must increase because I am, I, you know, as you all know, I believe we should seize the means of production, which means, I, you know, we'll, let's, get, let's get my bollocks fucking cracking. And this is the reason why some men notice some growth after this therapy, but their penis eventually goes back to its previous size, because in reality, the source of the problem was never treated to begin with. As we all know, the source of the problem was never treated. The source of the problem? Your mother. That's what. So ask yourself, would it be worth it to endure pain, infections, liver and heart damage, and even risk possible death for nothing in return? Uh, no. 
In order to stimulate the growth process, you have to make your body produce clean testosterone on its own. Naturally, otherwise, it's like you tried making coffee by heating your mug with a lighter. Right. Okay. That. Okay. That. 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 That analogy doesn't make any sense. But then, to be fair, fuck all else up until this point has. But not before getting rid of the toxic one that is not even enough. And this is the way that will ensure your penis grows in length and girth safely and permanently. Take a shot for length and girth. De you know, it's definitely good. length and girth. It's all happening. Not breadth. Not depth. Right? Not depth. Not breadth. Right? Just, it's just going to get wider right? and longer. It's going to be it's going to be flat like a kipper. So, as Dr. Gifford explained, we had to safely introduce certain nutrients inside my bloodstream that would flush out the stored chemicals and stimulate the production of clean testosterone. The next morning, we got started. That's all you got, and he agreed to it. Right? That's it. Right? He just this bloke's fucking just sat here, just sold him this fucking, this brilliant shaggy dog story and said, oh, we, also, what, what do you mean the next morning you get started, right? This guy does this for fucking celebrities, right? You said he fucking has done operations on celebrities and singers and people and who are A-listers, right? And he's made their, so why does he, what, you know, why can't he just do that for you? Right. Is it because you're not a celebrity? He has to come up with a new... Is this like George's fucking marvellous medicine? Except instead of... The, you know, whereas the nan shrinks at the end, is it going to be the opposite? And instead of your, na instead of your nan, it's, it's your granny, right? What, what do you mean? You just, in the morning, we got started. What, you used to go... He's told you all this, and you're going, right, back to... Off to bed. Up early. Now, one morning, something incredible happened. Now, this is the annoying part. He's done it again. He's just skipped forward to the point where they've done all the fucking tech. They've done all the, you know, got all the nutrients into his body somehow. I don't know. Funnel, a fucking, you know, party popper up his ass, whatever the fuck they've done. Right? They've poured it in there. And, it, and, and it, now we're at one morning, you know, a long time ago in a land far away. The, the mole had been working very hard all morning. Right. It was the best of times, was the worst of times. Right. Here we go. One morning, something incredible happened. Are you ready to hear what incredible thing happened? Because I guarantee you, you are not ready for, to, for, to hear how well this fucking shit worked. As I was about to walk into the shower, my penis just felt heavier than usual. It felt heavier. I'm not going to sit. Sorry, I, I know some. I know there are men out there who would like to sit there and have you believe that they could, they can feel, they can feel the weight of that. No, right? You don't feel your dick being heavier, right? It's not. It, what do you mean it felt heavier? What are you talking about? What did you did you get up and go? Oh fucking hell! Did you, what did you mean it felt heavier? What kind of stupid shit is this? Dangling off your fucking... What, what do you mean? It felt heavier. How, how much heavier could it have fucking got? How... What was it? Oh, I'll let him carry on. It had finally happened. My penis was 2.3 inches bigger, and its girth had significantly increased. So had apparently its weight to the point where you got up and nearly fucking shattered your vertebrae. Two point... That's what you felt. You felt 2.3 inches, did you? Now, after this initial increase, the good news kept coming. A week later, my penis was checking in at 6.78 inches. Just say 6.8, dude. Don't be 6.78 or 6.78, right? What kind of cunt fucking goes to the second decimal point on measuring their dick? Another morning, I woke up and as I stared at my ruler, my penis was at 7.3 inches. Full grown man measuring his dick with a ruler. Did you draw lines on the wall, right? Did you fucking do an outline of it? Fucking seven point four. Right? It just, just, we don't know what time, how much time is passing. We don't know what, it, nothing. He must be fucking, I mean, if he felt 2.3 at the start, Jesus, he must be fucking, he must have a hernia at this. Soon after, I was measuring 7.8 inches, but then it got even bigger. I was at 8.4 inches. Okay, at what point, is this the fucking plant from the little shop of horrors? At what point do you start getting scared? You've gone from like, I don't even know what it was to start with, but let's say it was fucking three or just under three. Now it's 8.4 in a matter of like a couple of weeks, right? You know, what if it just keeps going? What if it never stops? What's going to happen? 8.4 inches. That's more than, this is more than 82%. 82%.
And the white as well. The fucking white. I used to wear a harness. The results didn't stop there. I actually lost some of that belly fat I had gained over the years, and some of my bald spots were gone. Oh yes, folks, if you thought this was just a miraculous penis growing fucking, uh, you know, uh, potion. No, it, it does, lit this is the elixir of fucking life this guy's invented. So he's lost, his penis is now the size of a, his, his penis is now fucking monstrous bastard fucking thing. It's like a, it's like a fucking draft excluder. He's, his fucking bald spots are gone, wherever the fuck they were. He's fucking lost weight, right? But wait, it doesn't stop. My hair was fuller, shinier and my energy levels were skyrocketing. All my stress and anxiety were gone, and I can't even begin to tell you how happy I was to look down there and finally see my monstrous, almost illegal bulge. Okay, so much there. Anxiety, fear, hair shinier, you know, energy levels up, stamina, fucking grub, fucking rip, rip like a brick, fucking shit out. And best of all, the, the, the expression looking down, monstrous, almost illegal. What do you mean, almost illegal? Is it illegal? I didn't know there was an illegal size. There was a point where your penis would become illegal, right? And the picture, the giraffe picture is back, right? As you can see, right? There it is. I, again, I don't know why. The guy's just sat there. It's, you no, know, there's enough fucking horse shit in this fucking thing. I don't know why putting a picture out there would be fucking bad enough. But as you can see, giraffe just there. So, unless that's what it does to you. And they're fucking, this is a fucking ultimate bluff here. That you're going to buy this and your dick's going to fucking be, it's going to be nine inches long. But it's going to look like a fucking giraffe. Which, I'll be honest, I'd fucking be down for that. I'd fuck with that, right? But there we go. Illegal, an illegal bulge. Right? An illegal your, it's, it's, it's illegal. It's an illegal bulge. A giraffe fucking... Because you could probably walk around with your dick out if it looked like a giraffe, right? You wouldn't want it staring back at you, though. It was an extreme feeling of liberation. I had finally broken free from the shackles that have made me a lonely, insecure guy my entire life. What do you mean lonely guy your entire life? You were married at the start of this, do you remember? Right? But your wife was piping the fucking gardener, right? Do you remember that, right? Right, so you weren't lonely. You might be. You might have been insecure, right? You, you know, but not. You weren't lonely. You know, must have been some fucking enjoyment. Enjoyment you got out of it. Now it was finally time to do the right thing and share this discovery with all the other men out there. Well, that's fair enough. And obviously, you did this through the official means. You went through like so, some kind of like scientific paper, the media. You know, you went through. You did something that would make sure it got out there to the fucking you know to the masses. Because this is you're sitting on a fucking you know you're sitting on fucking the discovery of the fucking you know century here, surely. So you went to all of the official you know you know mainstream respected fucking you know institutions with this, didn't you? So we went on public forums, Cora, and read it. You went on Cora and Reddit. Cora and Reddit isn't Cora isn't even a forum. So play to ask Reddit. What what subreddit did you go to? Was it Small Dick Problems? Because that is a literal subreddit if you haven't if you're not familiar with it. Right, shout out to Come Town, but like honestly, it's the fuck. It, check it out if you haven't. It's the funniest fucking. Story. But you went to Reddit and Cora. Not. Okay. And posted a message saying, we're looking for volunteers. Hi guys, I had a, I had a two inch penis last week and now it's, now it's four and a half foot long, weighs five kilos. Um, and basically also my hair's grown back. I'm jacked now. Uh, you know, my skin's shiny. Uh, I've got spun, buns of steel. I can run a fucking mile in fucking four, seven, you know, a minute and a half. I can, you know, I ejaculate four gallons of spunk every hour just on cue and you know and i can give, i you know i can give you know the if i master if my sperm's so potent if i jack off in the living room there's a baby there the next day um and we've you know and we've done all this this it's took less than a w couple of weeks and it's with a a potion that i've created with a guy who's a doctor who's a doctor of uh, you know celebrity penis enlarger anyone want to do this you know want to you know test this stuff out it's really good yeah that sounds like something that would happen on reddit wouldn't it next day we had 60 men who signed up for a 30-day program 60 men right so that would be you know that would be a month's worth that would be 60 months worth so 
for, and they also, and what, did you mail it to them? Did, were they all in the area? Did you, like, how did that fucking, how did that, why am I even asking? 100% of the participants reported an increase of over three, four, five, even six inches, being able to sustain long, strong erections for more than 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Is that all? Must have been a slow day. Now, they now have firmer, more pronounced body muscles throughout their bodies. Okay, you don't have to, minor, you know, petty grievance, you don't have to say body muscles throughout their bodies. You can just say muscles throughout their bodies. Body muscles. Their sex drive and energy levels have literally skyrocketed. Literally skyrocketed. You're sure about that, are you? They have literally skyrocketed. Hmm? 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 And their stamina surged like never before. Basically, it turned them into horny Daleks. You know, so with the thing, you know, ejaculate. Even the most skeptical ones, to their utter shock, got an increase. I love the way he says that, as if being skeptical would somehow hinder your ability for it to work. Like, you have to have faith in this, or it doesn't work. Like, even the skeptics were like, well, I wasn't sure. So I'm amazed that it did. Take a look at this. There we are again, folks. This time we've got the triple and they've just gone for it. I just love everything about this fucking shot. I'm leaving this up here. Look at it. Fucking the, the, the one on the I don't, just love, the one on the on the left is just hanging over. I like the fact that the one on the right is now so big it's poking out over the like it's, what is it even censoring at this point? But I just love also the fact that the one in the middle, they've, you know, out of respect, they've blurred its fucking face so we don't recognise it. You know. Case it's fucking at, you know, just in case we fucking maybe it, they found out it was like underage or it didn't consent. I don't know, but you know, this is all quite just that, that's what they're giving you as an example. Like, how can you argue with that? It was absolute madness. It was that moment when we knew we had to make it public. Dr. Gifford used all his connections to make sure we only get top quality ingredients from certified and FDA approved producers. Now, it's interesting that they say only from certified FDA producers. Now, the producers might be approved by the FDA, but it's important to recognize that th there is a legal disclaimer, not just on the Amazon page, but also on any website selling their shit. Right, which says, and I'll put it up here, legal disclaimer, statements regarding dietary supplements may not have been evaluated by the FDA and are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease or health condition. Now, it says may not. They've even got an FDA approved logo or like, you know, thing, you know, brand logo on their fucking on their Web page. And at the bottom, it says this has not been approved by the FDA. Now, I, get, I don't know how illegal that is i guess you would have to fucking you know i mean it would take imagine suing this company i think this is why they can get away with this because can you imagine what you would have to go through in order to sue this company you would have to go to court and show a judge your microscopic penis and show him before and after and you, know, you would have to prove all of this stuff didn't happen you know and maybe that's just probably you know not worth it at the end of the day i don't know but there you go so just it's not FDA approved by any stretch of the imaginary. It's not. It's not ADA. It's not F. You know. It's not FBI approved. It's not. You know. It's not. You know. B. B. A. Baracus approved. It's not BBC approved. Well, I mean BBC. No, and I mean the TV station there. It's not anything. After over a month of hard work, we finally did it. I wanted to scream it out loud as I held in my hands something that would finally give men all over the world an explosive growth of their penis. We called it Alpha X10 Ultra. I haven't mentioned the name of this. I mean, it's literally, it's the most sort of overcompensatory. It's not just Alpha. It's Alpha X. It's Alpha X10. Alpha X10 Ultra. Alpha X10 Ultra fucking McGurthington Big Balls Dick Hammerbush. You know, it says there on the label, as you can see there, it says 30 servings. Keep that in mind. It will be relevant later. With its powerful mixture of 12 carefully selected ingredients. 12, oh, so it's like Kentucky Fried Chicken then. Right? Except not even that, this ain't even a secret. Because you're going to tell us what's in it. In fact, I already know what's in some of it. 
This program is the only clinically proven and successfully tested solution by over 100,000 men that's guaranteed to increase your penis size by 2, 3, 4, and even 6 inches in just a matter of weeks. Okay, I cannot emphasize this enough. Every single thing that guy just said is absolute fucking horseshit, right? It's not clinically proven. It's not clinically tested. It's not fucking, it's not FDA approved. It's not fucking, it, you know, it hasn't been, there aren't 100,000 geezers who've taken it. There are, and whoever has taken it has not had fucking, two, you know, three, four, five, or six inches, in, you know, increase. And it hasn't, and whatever has happened, it hasn't happened in a matter of weeks. Right. Each ingredient was specifically selected for its penis enhancement properties. And when combined together in the right quantities, all these superfoods have the ability to generate an explosive growth of your penis. I don't know whether this is fair, but I've always felt that the term and the concept of superfoods is absolute fucking drivel. But even if it wasn't, this is 12 superfoods. This ain't a fucking, you know, this is no magic ingredient. This is 12 fucking superfoods. Now, I don't fully know what classifies as a superfood. But if I was to fucking, ha you know, hazard a guess, there's a couple of items in here that I don't think sound too fucking spectacular. Every scoop inside Alpha X10 Ultra is made here in the U.S. in our FDA-approved and GMP-certified facility under extremely sterile, strict, and precise conditions. Uh, again, that's all bollocks. Also, he says it's all made in the US. Well, it might be, you know, well, it might be, you know, put together in the US, but as you're going to find out later, the ingredients and the stuff they're putting together is definitely not made or, you know, or, you know, from the US. Alpha X10 Ultra is non GMO safe. It does not contain any stimulants or toxins, and they are not habit or tolerance forming doesn't contain any stimulants, right? It basically, you know, transforms you into this, into one of the fucking geezers from 300 overnight, right? Gives you a rock hard fucking massive fucking, you know, Confederate cannon for a, for a cop. And it, you know, and maybe as far as non-habit and tolerance forming, I, you know, maybe in terms of like, you know, maybe a, you know, an addiction in, you know, the traditional sense. But I'm pretty sure if you discovered a you know a supplement that when you took it your penis increased by 780 million percent right and you had a fucking six pack and you'd make your titties dance right and you could do you, you could you were literally just this fucking greek god with you know with a pair of with a fucking cock and bollocks look like a fucking gorilla's arm hanging out of a pram and, and you know, i'm pretty sure if you did that you would develop a very very you know severe habit for that you would you would be taking that on the regular that is an addictive quality and what we achieved is what experts call a medical breakthrough yeah i don't know what experts he's referring to especially considering earlier on he said that all of the medical profession all of them are basically morons who don't know who, who don't know what they're talking about and are doing everything wrong apart from mr gifford here sorry dr gifford I, you know, part of it, so medical experts, though, though now, you know, who, which medical experts would that be? Hmm? Here's a short explanation of how these ingredients work and why they are so powerful. Spoiler alert, what you're about to hear is uh, not an explanation of how, not an explanation of why. It's not an explanation really of anything. And it is definitely not fucking short, which is probably appropriate, really, when you think of One, your body absorbs these powerful nutrients. As soon as you've started taking Alpha X10 Ultra, the nutrient absorption process begins. Well, obviously, you swallow something, it goes into your body. That's all that he's saying there, you know. We combine 12 powerful ingredients chosen from selected locations all around the world. All around the world, 12 ingredients from the all around the world, made in the USA. All these amazing nutrients are essentials for doing three things. First, to flush out chemicals affecting your testosterone. Right. Now, this is where it gets a bit confusing because you might remember he said one a second ago because he's going to do a list of like of several things. But now he's saying first. Right. So he's now doing a sub list within the main, the first part of the first list. Right. This is just 
unnecessary, but just letting you know. So it you know, might get a bit confusing. Don't worry, you won't. Second, to restart and boost the clean testosterone production mechanism in your body. Now, none of that was an explanation. It's just saying that's what it's saying. And we know it already does that because they've told us. And they're going to tell us a lot more now, right? Everything, that, you know, what they're going to do now is just repeat everything they've said 75 fucking times. And I'm not going to sit here and edit it out. I'm making you going to, I'm going to make sure you know every fucking part of this video. And third, to establish the cellular growth of your penis while improving your sexual functions. Since the ingredients are 100% natural and have been selected due to their purity, your body will immediately start absorbing them. And the growth of your penis will begin immediately. First of all, I don't know what unnatural ingredients would be, and I don't know why them being natural would or pure would make them absorb quicker, because it does. That, that, that's bollocks, isn't it? You know, I could sit here and drink fucking, you know, I could sit here and drink Mountain Dew or Poppers or fucking God knows, or bleach and God knows what else. It would absorb pretty quickly. So, yeah, that's, so that's one. So you drink something, it absorbs into your body. Brilliant. Two. Your body clears up the contaminated testosterone and the growing process begins. Now, you might notice that number two is basically what he said in number one. Once your body has absorbed all these powerful nutrients, the testosterone cleaning process will begin. This is extremely important. In order for your testosterone to restart the growth process, it needs a clear way towards it. Again, second verse, same as the first. To achieve this, we selected a very precise combination of bamboo extracts from both stem and leaf. Bamboo. Bamboo. You know, that fucking, you know, that plant, bamboo, that is famously the main sort of, the favourite food, the signature dish of pandas. Pandas, a fucking animal that is synonymous with things like virility, stamina, potency, fucking, you know, sexual promiscuity, mass, non-stop fucking shaggy. That's what they, I mean, they're basically, they're like Russell Brand and the Boris Johnsons of their fucking, of their species. Literate pandas. You could have picked the fruit, you could have picked the favourite food of any other animal that actually is known for having sex. Not one of the most fucking... You know, it's fucking frustrating, disinterested, borderline asexual, fucking you know, fussy bastards on the fucking planet when it comes to fucking breeding and having a button. Anybody. Pandas. This powerful formula will clear the low contaminated testosterone out of your system so it can make room for the new clean testosterone needed to begin the growing process. So is there going to be a point where I've got no testosterone whatsoever, where it's cleaning out the dirty and bringing in... The, uh, what, what happens to it? Where does it all go? I don't know. And to be honest, do the, does it matter? No. And maybe that's the point. Both are powerful ingredients, well known for their high detoxification and antioxidant properties, and sourced the right way. They will do their job effortlessly. We also made sure to add hyaluronic acid, the base of healing and reconstruction of contaminated tissue in your penis riddled by chemicals. I looked up that fucking uh, hyaluronic acid, which they've misspelt in the fucking thing, by the way, and it, it doesn't do anything. It's got nothing to do with regenerating skin. It's like, it's got nothing to do with it. You can look it up yourself, but it's just bugger. It's really easy to get. You, get, you can get it on, probably get it at fucking Holland and Barrett or something like that, you know? But yeah, so there's that. Three, your body creates brand new testosterone and new penile tissue starts to form. Again, number three basically sounds basically the same as the first two. In order for your penis to restart its growth process, it needs pure fuel to build the tissue. So, to restart and increase testosterone production, we selected a very precise combination of bovine collagen peptides, chicken cartilage, and marine collagen. Bovine collagen, marine collagen, and chicken cartilage. That's... By the way, chicken feet is what that made. Bovine collagen, marine collagen, that's surf and turf. I didn't even know fish had collagen. I don't care. Chicken obviously have cartilage. And obviously fish and chicken, well known for having their ma having massive penises. Right? And then bovine collagen. Cow, cow collagen, again, 
I don't know why they've picked these three fucking animals. I don't know why they don't. I don't know if there's any other form of. Con I ain't got a clue. Right. I'm just saying. But does does chicken cartilage sound like a fucking superfood to you? No, it's not. Is it? It's chicken feet, which we don't eat in this country. And if someone gave it to you, you'd fucking throw it back at them. Fucking fit marine co collagen. This powerful combination will make your body create and boost testosterone levels. Why are these compounds so important? Do you know what? I don't know. Why don't you fucking tell me? Well, collagen is an amazing and powerful trigger for human testosterone. It instructs cells to produce the required amount your penis needs. No. Not even a little bit. Now, we added three types of collagen, all of them known to cover the entire testosterone production mechanism, so your penis will benefit the most. No, you added two types of collagen. And chicken, chicken feet. The powerful nutrients also protect and assist the building process as they also fortify hard tissues like bones and cartilages. Well, thank God for that, because I, you know, I've, I'm sick of, you know, I'm sick of having, you know, my unfortified bones and cartilage in my penis. Four, your penis starts adding inches in length and girth. Now pay attention. Oh, I am fucking here. Because from this point on, incredible things start to happen. Really? Incredible things start to happen. Does it involve somehow, I don't know, maybe involve my um, penis being, you know, getting bigger and, you know, my entire body regenerating or some shit like that? Does it involve that, you know? First, you need to know that since your penis has been deprived from natural development for so long, your reproductive system needs a powerful refresh and rejuvenation so you can enjoy a huge and strong penis at its peak. Basically, it's like if our lives was a video game, and you know, and you know, and sex was the was the was the objective. We're just getting the John Holmes fucking DLC at this point. To achieve explosive growth and performance for your penis, we didn't stick only to clean testosterone production. We also carefully selected a proprietary blend of five ingredients, including the complex mix of vitamin C and vitamin B6 will set the stage for the growing process by energizing and empowering penal cells to multiply. Okay, just on, just a side note, vitamin C and vitamin B6 are not complex. Right? You can get them, and I can get them in fucking boots. I can get them from the supermarket. That's not a complex combination. Literally, you fucking consume them every day. Acerola cherry, a crucial ingredient which acts like a powerful and natural penile tissue stimulator. Not only will it add inches to your penis, but it also increases blood flow, improves circulation, and lowers blood pressure. Which has been selected definitely not because the photo resembles a pair of bollocks. Okay. Uh, increases blood flow, improves circulation, and lowers blood pressure. I'm pretty for sure those are all the same thing. And if you struggle with BPH, this ingredient also treats those annoying symptoms, protects your bladder against infections, and is able to stop hair loss. BPH is something to do with fucking your prostate. I don't know. I can't remember what it is, um, but, but it stops that, whatever the fuck it is. Also, it makes it, it stops you getting infected with diseases, and it makes your fucking it makes your balls hairy. Yeah, just does everything really. Then we added proteins, nutrients your body won't live without. These proteins have so many tasks inside the human body. From building muscle, they allow your body to move, and cells won't be able to form without them. So, this natural penis enhancer generates a surge in your penile tissue, and is so powerful that it renews your entire reproductive system. Renews! Your, enti your entire reproductive system is going to be re-fucking built. Renew. Brand new. Brand new. It doesn't, it doesn't heal it. Doesn't improve it, it's fucking regenerates. And then we added horsetail extract, a strong plant consisting of rare natural compounds used to treat erectile dysfunctions and improve erections. Again, treating erectile dysfunction, improving erections, again, same thing, just fucking twice. Also, I'm pretty sure you've just picked this because it's called horsetail. And when everyone thinks horse, they think, hey, you know. It will also increase your libido and will help you overcome years of frustration, anxiety, and depression. 
Okay, the libido thing aside, it you know it might help me overcome frustration, anxiety, and depression, but it's not going to help me overcome years of it, as in years I've already had. I'm not going to get over them. They've already happened. It's not going to wipe them out, is it? It just means I might not have it as much or often or at all from now on. Native people have been also using it for centuries to improve sex drive. Native people, really, which native people, which ones? And why did they do it? And where are they? And are they still alive? And does it actually work? Because this just sounds like fucking bollocks that, you know, this sounds like the kind of shit you'd buy in one of those alternative medicine shops. Like, like do a little dance and fucking, you know, say incantation or whatever, and then, you know, wave a, bow, wave a fish bone over your head, and next, next thing you know, you've got a fucking hard on. Every single ingredient this natural blend has supports and guards clean testosterone production for life. Now he said it again there. Supports and guards clean testosterone production for life, right? For life. Remember that. Now, you might be sat there thinking, well, Rich, this all sounds amazing and I'm totally buying into it. But, you know, it's gonna, I'm going to feel quite sort of, you know, uh, nervous walking around with this massive, huge cock stuck in it. It's going to say it's going to get sounds like it might be vulnerable to some form of like, a, a, you know, a, attack or just like more likely to get in the way and get get some kind of injury. Well, don't worry, because this shit's got you covered, too. As an added benefit, all these ingredients create a natural armor around your penis shielding it against toxic chemicals and age-related shrinkage. A natural armor. Right. You know, a natural armor. Just, just, you know, just protect it in case fucking, like a retractable dome in case predators might be fucking around. Five. Yeah, five. You forgot. That we still haven't finished the list yet. Your entire body becomes revitalized. Entire body now. Everything. Revitalized. In just a few weeks, you'll start to notice a difference in your penis length and girth. Well, I really? Well, why didn't you say something? This natural blend will add 30%, 40%, and even 82% more to your side. Fascinating. Is there any more? And there's more. Oh, goody! Because this blend is so powerful, your body will have enough nutrients that it will help every single part of your body to transform and rejuvenate. Mm-hmm. Not only do they help with penis regrowth, but it also helps you eliminate bad cholesterol from the bloodstream. Ooh, bad cholesterol, bad testosterone, bad cholesterol, bad blood. You will be able to sleep better. It will help with your digestion and even with losing weight, making you feel stronger, happier, and healthier, and giving you better mental focus, boosting your memory and brain power. I might not have the best memory, and my brain may be on the wafty, but even I do not need to take this to know that you are now saying the same fucking thing for the 475th pissing bastard time. Right? This is like a fucking Jive Bunny record. There's a reference, but maybe one person, including... And of course, the ultimate goal for Alpha X10 Ultra is to help you generate explosive growth for your penis with the help of clean, uncontaminated testosterone. I'm going to fucking thump you in a minute, mate. Now, you probably have two questions by now. Oh, I definitely have one or two, but I'll let you fucking fill me in on this one, bub. First, how do I get my hands on this? Well, I mean, you, I, I, that, that might be useful. How do I get my hands on this? And second, in which quantities should I take Alpha X10 Ultra? Well, that wouldn't have been the second question, but I mean, you've already told me the fucking ingredients, haven't you? By the way, there is another, uh, there is another version of uh, this, and I would like happily read you the uh, ingredients that uh, you can get here. This is a different version of Alpha, but it's got, this one has got niacin, which you get in like cornflakes, zinc, tribulus terrestris extract. Sounds like a fucking, you know, Shakespeare character, horny goat weed extract, horny goat weed extract, larginine AKG, fenugreek seed extract, maca root powder, saw palmetto, palmetto berry extract, tongkat alley root extract, stinging nettle extract, boron acid chilet, all the great superfoods there, fucking stinging nettles, stinging nettles and horny goats, you see, it's hard to answer the first question. What do you mean it's hard to answer the first question? How do I get my hands on it? That's that's the point. That's why I'm watching this. That's why this. That's what this video is for. How is that difficult? You just tell me. 
Give me the information. You fuck, you absolute fucking cunt. When we created Alpha X10 Ultra, we knew that in order for this formula to work, we had to source only the highest quality ingredients. We looked over four continents and dozens of providers until we found the right companies to work with. What do you mean you had to look for the right companies to work with? The it's vitamin fucking C, chicken feet, bovo, cow fucking collagen, stinging nettles and some fucking cherries. How is this difficult? How is this hard to source? I could find some of them on the side of a fucking motorway. You're sourcing for fucking best chicken cartilage. <coughs> Fuck my ass. This makes our ability to keep a high amount of stock on hand almost impossible. Almost impossible. It's almost impossible for you to find literally the ingredients you listed that I found online and could have purchased myself. It's difficult for you, is it? Because you've got to go to the highest four corners of the pissing... You've got to go to fucking Burkina Faso and the arse end of fucking nowhere to fucking get these fucking mystical, fucking, you know, mystical African orchids to fucking put it with. And then there's all the men who've used Alpha X10 Ultra and experienced massive success with increasing their manhood. What about them? They are all coming back for more. For themselves and for their best friends. They want to make sure we don't run out of Alpha X10 Ultra and they're left out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said if I took enough... Once I'd taken a few bottles of this, that I would be set for life. That I would... The reason I, you didn't want me to take the other testosterone, the counterfeit, phony, fake, you know, dodgy fucking nine bob note testosterone, is because it would wear off and my dick would go back to normal. Now you're saying other geezers are coming back for more. Why are they coming back for more? If it fucking wears off after a bit, then what's the fucking point of this? Also, what do you mean geezers are getting it for their best friends? What is this? The fucking small dick club? The fucking micro penis society? Do they hang around? They have to hang around in cup in pairs, do they? This makes our stock run out in days, every time a new shipment arrives. Plus, we're only able to produce Alpha X10 Ultra in small quantities since finding high-quality ingredients is extremely hard. Oh, yes, of course. When I fucking walk around this fucking country, chickens and cows and fish are fucking... God, they're fucking alien. You have to go to... It's hard to come by. No, it isn't. But this is the only way to make sure we keep the formula 100% effective. Right. And you didn't think you could maybe have told me this at the start of this advert, not 20 fucking four minutes into it. Or you maybe could have made this a little bit shorter so I didn't have to sit here for fucking God knows how many bloody fucking hours of my life that have been wasted ticking away here as my penis is shrinking whilst I'm watching this. Right? You don't think you could have mentioned that? You know, you don't maybe you think you could have fucking dealt with this a lot fucking quicker. Maybe, you know, look into sorting this out. If it's that fucking good, buy some more stock. Buy some chickens. You Since you're here, your package is reserved. Less about my package. Like, oh, oh, you mean the fucking... Oh, it's reserved. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Aren't I special? But if you leave this page, we cannot guarantee supply when you come back. <gasps> oh, no. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Don't I'm not touching anything. I'm, not touching, I'm right here. I'm, I'm still here. Like, please, please, do go on. Now, regarding how you should use Alpha X10 Ultra, the answer is easy. Mix two scoops with a big glass of water after breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Every day for at least 30 days. Right, so, two scoops, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, if you remember, there was a bottle they showed you earlier on. One bottle, right? And if you remember, that bottle said 30 servings. Which means one bottle is 10 days worth of fucking shit. Now, why do I have a funny feeling that they've left that out until now? It will provide you with the necessary nutrient intake, specially designed to destroy any reaming impurities in your tissues and reignite testosterone production. Yes, 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 yes. What the fuck are reaming tissues? Is that... Did you get that... Did the AI get that wrong? Anyway, right, get to the bit where you fucking arse rape me and try and fucking upsell me. I feel like I've voluntarily sat down in a fucking timeshare and now I'm going to fucking buy it out of spite. Increase its levels and restart the growing process at 100% power.
Now based on how bad your body was deprived of testosterone since you were born, your blood oxygenation levels and other hormonal imbalances due to chemical effects, it's going to be a tough battle. What do you mean it's going to be a tough battle? No, it isn't. You've spent the last 25 minutes telling me how fucking easy it is. I simply drink this fucking two scoops of this powder with some water three fucking times a day, and before I know it, I'm fucking packing a ridiculous fucking portion down there. I'm also fucking banging everything that moves and fucking at it, at it like a bunch of randy slugs. What do you mean? Your penis is practically guaranteed to grow at least three inches. But how will that help you if your erections don't last for more than five minutes? <laughs> My friend, I think you greatly overestimate how much time I need, require, or fucking want to have an erection and do something with it. And your penis is in constant danger of infections and other deadly diseases. Oh, so you've met the missus, have you? Because of low testosterone levels and innumerable toxins everywhere. You know those toxins are still going to be everywhere regardless of whether I take this or not. Sure, you will see the external improvements fast, but the internal ones, well, it may take longer to heal. Oh, I see. I see where this is going. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you'll get the bigger cock. You'll get the bigger cock, but could fall off at any moment, so... Mm. That's why, after analyzing the results of over 100,000 men who've successfully used this program, we recommend taking at least three bottles of Alpha Extend Ultra over a period of 90 days. Right, except I can't do that, can I? Because one bottle only lasts 10 fucking days, right? So, thir so three bottles over 90 days, is it? Hmm? Okay, fine. Three bottles over 90 days. Right. Is, that, is, that, is that it? You recommend three bottles? That, that's your recommendation, is it? And that's, that's it. That's what and if you want to be completely safe and don't take any chances, we recommend you take at least six bottles or more over a period of 180 days. This way, you'll be absolutely sure your penis achieves its full length and girth and stays healthy and strong for the rest of your life. Oh, right. oh you think for, yeah, for six months, six bottles or more over six months and it will stay for the rest of my life, for the rest of my life. So why have I got all, if it's the rest of my life, why do I need to worry about the people who've already bought some? What, what exactly? I'm... This is very confusing. Now, knowing all this, $347 seems like a fair price for something that can make you a man again, that can give you back your dignity, and to be honest, your sanity. I don't think anybody's gone insane with having a small bit like... And it's definitely less than what you'd pay for life-threatening surgery. Obviously, life-threatening surgery is not something you would ever pay for. Now, folks, I will say, give this video credit for the next thing it's about to say, because th there's been a lot of silly things said in here. But, you know, the next thing, the next statement, the next sentence is invaluable advice that I honestly think every everyone here should take great note of and just remember, put it on the back burner. Right. Just take this in. This is a golden ingot of wisdom that could fucking like if it fell on you, you know, from a great height could you might possibly notice it. Really, no man should ever let anyone slice into their penis. Now, who can argue with that? Yet Alpha X10 Ultra, unlike any other product in the world, helps you regrow your penis by treating the root cause of its lack of growth. I know about the fucking regrowing and the fucking girth and the leg. Would you please stop? I'm sold. I'm here. I'm, I'm just, please, would you? I feel like I'm joining a cult. Then there's the other thing. What other thing? Given the difficult conditions we live in these days, it's very hard for us to know when our next shipment will arrive once we run out of stock. And what, what difficult conditions do we currently live in? Is there a fucking chicken shortage? Are we low on vitamins? What, what do you mean, the difficult conditions? There are no difficult conditions. These are the same... You know, just... Stop. You're fucking with me now. You see, we only work with FDA-approved and GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices, certified producers, which makes our mission to find high-quality ingredients practically impossible. No, 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 it doesn't. It's the exact opposite of that. It makes it very easy. You've just got to find the ingredients you need, of which there's fucking 12, right? 
most of which are available in the fucking near vicinity. You could probably go down a fucking petrol station and get them. And all you've got to do is go buy them from someone who is allowed to fucking supply and sell them. And they're really easy to find because they're all registered. It literally couldn't be fucking easier. Each ingredient was carefully tested and clinically proven to 100% protect and heal your reproductive organs. Nope. But then again, this isn't about the money for me. Is, oh, oh, is it not? Oh, tr truly? You mean that truly? It truly isn't. Well, that, that, then that will do for me. I never want anyone to go through the things I had been through. The shame I felt every time a woman would see my tiny little penis. <laughs> Didn't have to show it to him, you know. The humiliation I felt as my own wife was having oral sex with a strange man, and she even recorded it and told him how big his penis was compared to mine. Yeah, okay, look, I'm sorry about that, right? I, you know, I didn't know that that was going to be, I didn't know you were going to see that video. I never want any man to feel that. That's why today on this website only, you can get that monster penis you always wanted and regain your life back for just $69. Fair play. $69, of course. Is this, is this, the, is this, the, is this your version of the aristocrats, is it? Now, here's the thing. Oh, oh, there's a thing, is there? Okay, another thing. Hmm? Two bottles of Alpha X10 Ultra will get you that bigger, stronger, thicker penis. Oh, it's two now. It was one earlier, then it was three, then it was six. What? Just give me the fucking... Just tell me where they will also flush out the chemicals from your system, increase sperm production, strengthen your muscles, and even help your hair follicles regrow. All while doing the most crucial part. Increase the production of testosterone and extend your penal tissue so that your penis can reach your desired king size. Am I in Groundhog Day? But there is a reason why almost all of our users smartly choose the six bottles package. Oh, almost all of them choose the six bottles package, yeah? hmm? is it? Is it? They almost all do that, do they? Hmm? Hmm? Well, please, I, I'd love to. What, what reason would that be? Once you go with the six bottles package, in just six months from now, you'll be able to add three, four, and even six inches more on your penis size. It'll ensure that your penis will reach its maximum size and full potential. And until the process is completed, your testosterone levels will remain in super high levels, giving you better defined muscles, skyrocketing energy levels, and even boost your memory and focus. That's the second time you've told me it will boost my memory. I think you need to take some of this shit. And of course, we want to help you as much as we can. And because I know how important it is to achieve real growth of your penis and also keep it healthy and strong, even in your late 90s. Uh, late 90s? I don't fucking think so, mate. If I can fucking stand up before I shit myself in, the, in my 90s, I'll be fine. After talking to our manufacturer, we are able to offer a huge discount on the three and six bottle packages when you place your order today. Oh, were you? You just got off, you just talked to the manufacturer, did you? You know, the manufacturer, who is that? Oh yeah, you're the fucking manufacturer, you cunt. Don't fucking sit there and try and, sp don't fucking bo bullshit me, wanker. Sounds good. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I will make it even better for you. No, oh, you couldn't. Please, you couldn't do more. Just you, Jesus, and Mahatma Gandhi, isn't it? If you go with the six or three bottles, you will also get two exclusive bonuses worth a total of $160, totally free to you. $160 worth of bonus, two bonuses from $180. Eight, two, eight. Well, this must be fucking spectacular. I cannot wait to see these. Why? Because I want you to feel 100% satisfied and supported through this life-changing journey. Well, aren't you a special little flower? Aren't you a bright ray of sunshine on a fucking grey, weary day? Please, what are these bonuses? Bonus number one, diet, exercise, and more. The Man's Guide to Superior Sexual Health. From debunking common misconceptions, recommending diet and exercise regimens, and discussing preventive measures, this digital guide will equip you with the necessary tools to protect and enhance your sexual health. The knowledge contained within this book is beneficial for men of all ages and is designed to empower you to take control of your sexual well-being, no matter your current status or age. I thought that the Alpha X10 Ultra did all that for me anyway, by just turning me into this fucking, like this donkey dick sized fucking, you know, 
me megalodon of love. And but now I've got to read a fucking book. Like, it's not even a real book. It's an e-book. OK, fine. It's an e-book. It's an e-book. It's fine. It's free. I'm not going to sniff it. But it's, a, it's an e-book. OK, so what's the what's the second? Bonus number two, the ultimate guide to pleasing your partner, becoming her best lover. It's another fucking e-book, is it? To become her best love. Who's her? It's another two e-books, not real books, two e-books, a hundred and sixty dollars. Would you be, like how how is that? Do they have do they have any, a billion pages? What are they? How is that even possible? If you ever wondered if and how you can improve your sexual technique, then look no further. This will guide you through the realms of female pleasure, revealing secrets women themselves will never tell you. Right, but you somehow have fucking managed to crack the cup. What did you do? Do you think? Also, I know exactly how, if and how I can improve my sexual performance. I just need to start staying conscious. But we'll leave them asking, where did you learn to do that? Sounds like that's the sort of, that's the sort of thing you say when someone does a fucking magic trick. What am I going to do? Pull a rabbit out of a minge? That'd be pretty cool. It takes less than a minute to enter your payment information, and once your order is confirmed, will discreetly ship Alpha X10 Ultra straight to your doorstep. No one besides you will know what's in there. It's a promise. Wow, ship it discreetly. No one will know. So it's just like every other piece of fucking mail that you ever get. It's not a bonus. Now, this may be a little shocking to you, and I understand. So let's change that right now. Dr. Gifford and I put everything we had into this program, and we sure as sunlight stand behind it. Sure as sunlight stand, but what's your language? You dis dis disgusting. You foul, sure as sunlight. How dare you? I'm going to get demonetized now. That's why with every bottle of Alpha X10 Ultra, you get an ironclad 60-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. I'm going to get a 60-day money-back guarantee on a product that I'm buying that I've got to take for at least six months or even 90 days. You're giving me a 60. So, really, you're giving me a fucking money back guarantee timeline that is actually shorter than the fucking length of time to take the product. And if for any reason whatsoever, you are not satisfied with the results, even if you wanted a 70% increase and only got 65%, send me or Dr. Gifford an email and we'll refund every penny you invested into this program. But please hurry. Oh, of course you will. Because obviously, the men who are going to be buying this product are obviously going to have the confidence to fucking contact you and say, excuse me, Mr. Gifford and Mr. Howard, but my penis, you know, when it started, looked at, on a good day like a button mushroom on a fucking hairy fur coat, and now it looks like it's dehydrated somewhat. Here's some pictures to prove it, right? Now, give me my money back, you utter but Of course you're going to do that, aren't you? This is the third time I'm uploading this video, and they keep finding ways to take it down. This is on your website, you fucking idiot. Who's taking it down? They? Them? What do you mean? Just leave it up. The third time we've uploaded it. Well, it'll be on YouTube now forever, interspersed with me. Get ready for the fucking, get ready for the traffic to come at you like a fucking bag, like this massive mongoloid porn inferno it is. Right now, you have a chance to literally erase all that and start a new life, a better life where you're finally in charge of your own destiny, a life where you feel comfortable in your own skin with your own manhood, your monstrous Hulk-sized jaw-dropping penis. Well, folks, that is it. That is Alpha X10 Ultra you know, big you know, cock muck mega balls, fucking super juice. If uh, if you're, I just, I, I'm, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the website is still up. I'll leave a link to it below. You can go see just to prove that I'm not fucking lying. And um, let me know what you think. Um, I, I've been around. I haven't seen any real reviews for it, other than the one stars that it's got on Amazon. Um, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a comment, like, subscribe, support me on Patreon. And um, guess what? Big Dick is back. And, oh, Bigger Dick now. What a way to announce it. How appropriate. Good night. May God be less. And remember, where there's no sense, there's no feeling.